Phenylthiocarbamide is a lab-created molecule with similar properties to the bitter-tasting chemicals found in broccoli. Did you know that about 25% of the human population cannot taste phenylthiocarbamide? Ugh. Ugh, apparently I can. The ability to taste phenylthiocarbamide, or PTC, is determined by a single gene in our bodies. That means it's an inherited trait from our parents. Most of us think that PTC has an awful bitter taste, but a select few can't taste anything at all. Genes create a unique set of physical traits in each person, such as eye color, hair color, height, and so on. Many biologists study the connections between genes, physical traits, and the environment. We can begin to look for these connections by first observing patterns in nature. For physical traits in humans that we can't see, like the ability to taste PTC, we can rely on surveys to gather data. A binary trait is a trait with two values. The ability to taste PTC is a binary trait. We can taste it or not. Lucky for us, we can turn the micro bit into a survey tool to help us gather data. We want to see what percentage of people can taste PTC. Without the micro bit, we can do this with pen and paper. Make a simple table with two columns. One column is for people who can taste PTC, and the other is for those who cannot. Next, find a group of people and have them each taste a PTC strip. If a person can taste the bitterness, make a mark under the left column. If not, put a mark under the right column. Phew, that was a lot of work and took a lot of time to survey everyone. I bet there's a better way for people to enter the data themselves. With our collected data, we can begin to estimate what percentage of the population can taste PTC. But let's perform that experiment again, but using the micro bit instead. To start, we need to create three different variables named total, bitter, and not bitter. We will store our counted values in these variables. Drag three set variable blocks to on start. Change the first one to total, the second to bitter, and the third to not bitter. Leave the set value at zero as we want to reset all of our counters whenever we reset the micro bit. Then add a show string block after the variable set blocks and change the text to trait counter so that we know what program is running on our micro bit. Next, we want to build our interface for the survey participants. Drag an on button pressed block from input to the workspace. In variables, get a change variable block and snap it in the on button A block. Change the variable to bitter and leave the value at 1 as we want to increment the bitter counter by 1 if someone presses the A button. Go to basic, grab a show number block and snap it under the change variable block. Get a bitter variable and snap it inside show number. Repeat this process but use an on button B pressed block. Also, use the not bitter variable instead of bitter. Now, we want to be able to retrieve the data, so add a third on button pressed block to the workspace. Change the button to A and B. Drag a set variable block to this new event block. Change the variable to total and drag an addition block from math to the right side of the set variable block. Drag a bitter variable to one side of the addition equation and drag a not bitter variable to the other side. Then, drag a show string and show number block under the set variable block. Have it display the text bitter, followed by displaying the number in the bitter variable. Right click to duplicate these two blocks and change it to display the text not bitter, followed by the number in the not bitter variable. Duplicate these two blocks again and change them to display the text total, followed by the value in the total variable. So, by pressing the A and B buttons together, you can view the results of your survey. Download and copy the program to your micro bit. I'll add labels to help out my survey participants. If a participant tastes bitterness in the strip, they will press A. If they do not taste any bitterness, they will press B. When the survey is done, I press A and B together to review the results. It will scroll the text bitter followed by the number of respondents that claim they could taste the bitterness. Then it will scroll not bitter followed by the number of people that claimed they could not taste the bitterness. Finally, it will scroll total and give me the total number of participants that took the survey. If I need to reset these values, I can simply reset the micro bit by pressing the button on the back or unplugging power. Now, let's start. I'll be the first participant. Oh.
With the survey done, let's take a look at the results. The micro bit will first give me the number of people that claimed they could taste the bitterness, which is 17. Then it will give me the number of people that claim they could not taste the bitterness, which is 5. If we add those two numbers together, we get a total of 22. To find the percentages, we first divide the number of people who could taste bitter by the total number of participants. 17 divided by 22 is about 0.773, which is 77.3%. We then divide the number of people who could not taste the bitterness by the total again. 5 divided by 22 is about 0.227, or 22.7%. Notice that if I add the percentage of tasters to the percentage of non-tasters, it comes out to be 100%. If you want to challenge yourself, see if you can program your microbit to calculate and display the percentages automatically. While 22 people is not a very large group, we did find that the number of people who could taste the bitterness was pretty close to the predicted 25%. I encourage you to try this experiment for yourself, or maybe find some other trait that you'd like to explore. Good luck, my fellow scientists, and with that, I'm off to examine the various traits among different species of cockroaches.